What's up guys, welcome back to a new video on the channel on this beautiful evening, 6.35 in the afternoon. It is Friday, April 17th, guys. Devin and I are dedicating a full evening session to the working class zero citizen sixes. If we catch anything on one of these, we'll probably retie. I brought some of the sevens as well, some of the bigger citizens. We're throwing an emerald speckled six. We are throwing a, I believe this is silver. This one was given to us by Jared down in Austin. I'm gonna link his Instagram in the description. And then we have some sevens in the green pumpkin color. Anyways, we're ready to have at it, man, and uh, just tear these banks apart. See if we can't get hit on some of the bigger baits we have. We are throwing, here's the gear, Corrado DC 17-pound foil carbon, 7-6 rod, rated for up to 3-ounce lures, and our brand new Tranks uh, 400 with the power handle. This is the HG, and we have got a, an 8-foot 13 fishing black Defy swim bait rod, uh, rated for like up to 8-ounce baits, so this thing is just barely even breaking a sweat. We're going to go ahead and get to fishing. This thing has 25-pound fluorocarbon Guggen squad and an entire spool fit perfectly on it and uh, that's uh, what we're rocking guys let's go ahead and hit the water we're traveling light tonight nothing but GoPros a pair of pliers a scale in case we catch a donkey and then also some line cutters in case we need to retie you don't want to get a couple bites and have your line frayed and not be able to catch a giant because they break off if you're lazy to retie let's hit the water okie dokie folks let's go only broken out this tranks one time the brakes should be set yeah, that, that's a big old bed, big old bitty bye. Uh, we're a little, we're a little layered up, man. It's kind of chilly. It's like 55 degrees. I'm gonna just cruise into this bed right here. Adjust this tension. I've got everything real tight because I was casting into the wind yesterday. Loosen that up a little bit. There we go. That's a little much, but. That ought to do. Now these fish are probably gonna be along the banks kind of the spawn season out here in Texas now. I believe the bass in here are probably all post-spawn except for maybe some late bloomers, but <clears throat> they uh, should be on the prowl and looking for a big old bait, big old fish to eat. I'm just gonna be working this thing slow with uh, occasional reel twitches. And if I feel any grass or a bite, I'm gonna reel down. That way I can either scurry through that grass and get freed, potentially inciting a strike or buckle down and see if the weight of a fish is on uh, the hook and then go for that hook set. Oh! Oh! He smacked it! Oh god! It was uh, I don't, it was probably two and a half. Set the hook too quick on that one. That was a rookie swim bait move right there. You know, you just see him uh, pop out at you and decide you want to set that hook a little too early. Should have let him really gobble it. This is a big bait, and that wasn't like a a huge trophy bass right there. So really got to let him gobble it down. Wow! Almost the first catch on the tranks. Oh, there's a bass right there. Yeah, it's it's. This is a little guy. What's up? How are you doing? Good. Yeah, yeah. What's your name? My name's Gavin. Gavin. Nice to meet you all. Wearing the uh, bass fishing dudes shirt. Yeah. That's what's up, man. You fish here a lot? Uh, yeah, on and off. Yeah. Um, well, I guess we better hit it before sunset. We're gonna. Dang, one just one just chased it in right here. Oh, I had one come up and hit it. He just kind of came up and sideswiped it, but I kind of like. Oh, oh, I had one. <laughs> I'm trying to work one off the bed right there, guys. Ooh, just had a follower. He's right here. Just had another swipe at it, guys. Second hit, but that was a smaller one. Y yes, sir. Yeah, lure. Yeah, that's real. Yes, that's the that's the idea there.
I, get, I cranked down. I cranked down. I did it. I did everything. He just got the tail. Well, we just fixed a backlash. Devin just got a bite. And now we're probably at the bottom of the uh, pond. I got one. I said I got one. I said I got one. <laughs> I got one. He choked it. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's gone. Oh hold on, hold on, hold on. Guys, look at that. We don't have the big camera, so everything's gonna have to be on the GoPro. Guys, that. Citizen 6 is gone. That fish devoured it. Look, you just barely see the little baby head of it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am so stoked. Ah, that was the coolest catch in the history of catches. I don't even care if it's not that big. Oh my god, I'm gonna need the pliers. <laughs> Done like dinner. Dude, look at the size of the bait hold it up to the yeah, fish yeah. <laughs> that was all he engulfed it oh my gosh that was so cool i'm assuming this fish might have been the one that i missed a second ago um that had hit and i felt felt the tick and i thought i cranked down on it just like i was supposed to and then set it but i, I felt the weight a little bit afterwards but i missed it uh gave it a couple more casts in other places and then cast it right back into where i got that hit and same exact thing but this time he engulfed it like you saw look his mouth's not even that crazy big oh my god i'm so excited that was so cool that was so cool all right let me go ahead and let him go because he's probably over it <laughs> I don't blame you, bud. That was so cool. I've never caught a fish on one of those Citizen Sixes. And that was my first big swim bait fish. Too freaking cool. There he goes. Off into the grass. Ah! Oh my gosh, this feels so weird. Well, Devin and I have switched reels, and this thing feels so tiny. I've never had a baitcaster feel this weird. This 7.6 Heavy feels like a Zebco $5 rod after using that 8-foot swim bait rod all night. So weird. This feels like the lightest equipment I've ever thrown. <laughs> Sun is setting, we're almost done, but that is a mission accomplished. Super crazy. That's cool, too. You get props for that. Probably fish this whole wall where it's lower. Oh, oh, oh. He just grabbed it. He just grabbed it. Sweet. Oh yeah. Thank you for sticking with us till the end on this one. Something entirely different. Uh, just going out with one combo a piece. That was a challenge, man. I know you guys have seen us. Uh, we're only rigged up with handfuls of combos. We're always going out with a bunch of different sticks, different rigs, Devin and I just fishing all kinds of different stuff. But we've really been throwing the citizens a lot this week. And it's probably going to continue. We've been getting great feedback on the swim bait videos. We're going to be picking up more swim baits, big heavy stuff, possibly even getting another rod and reel dedicated for swim bait use only because we're having so much fun throwing them and we're seeing so many followers. We've had them out for probably one, two, three more videos that we've filmed since this one is going up and we're just getting nonstop followers, big hits, big misses. You guys got a lot to look forward to and some big catches coming your way, you guys. So stay tuned, man. I'm telling you what, these are gonna be the type of baits that get us our PB coming up very soon. We're trying to hit bass over seven pounds. That's what Devin and I need. And uh, I would love to hear what you guys think about these citizen baits. They're tough to come by, they're hard to get, man. But uh, drop a comment, let me know what colors you guys have if you've picked these things up. They are very exclusive. And when they drop next time, be looking out on my Instagram story, man. I'm gonna shout it out and we are gonna try and get as many as possible. I am really liking the seven size. 
I uh, threw it for the first time today, got my first fish on it today, that's all I'm going to tell you. But uh, yeah, man, I mean, it's much larger in profile, sinks a little faster, 10-aught weighted beast hook. I mean, the thing's about three ounces. You're not going to be throwing this on non-dedicated swim bait gear. And uh, with that being said, whoops, quick cut, I also wanted to mention, we're just getting used to fishing these things, by the way. These soft plastic big single hook swim baits are a lot different than anything we've thrown uh, similar. <laughs> so when I say similar, I mean like larger swim baits that we've thrown in the past is oftentimes using treble hooks. We're getting used to throwing baits with like those beast style hooks. And so it's a different process. When you feel that tick, you feel that little bite, you don't just want to go flying and setting the hook. You want to reel down, really kind of load up that rod almost because they might be swimming towards you and chasing that bait and coming at you. If you just feel that tick and then you go to set the hook, you might not really be getting anywhere because they might be coming at you. You need to feel that tick, crank it down, you feel the weight of that fish, and then boom! And I know we've been setting the hook a little too early. One thing I will say, it's an excuse, yes, is that a lot of the fish we've been hitting have been just kind of like right at the bank. And what we're doing is like, we're say this is the bank, I'm here, right? We're creeping it up, if you guys can even hopefully see this, and then boom, a fish swipes at it, so it's easy to think he's got it and go. But in reality, you need to still let them have a second because these are big plastics. You gotta let them munch on it. So when you think they've got it, maybe they just grabbed the tail and that's that tick you felt, but you need to crank it down a little bit, really let them eat that bait, then go for that hook set. So we're getting better at it, give us some time. We've gotta increase our patience and it's really just training yourself like riding a bike. I mean, you can't learn this stuff just watching the videos and reading about it. You really gotta get out there and dedicate some time, just slow creep on these baits and then boop, feel that bite. Crank it down, crank it down, boom, set that hook when you start feeling that weight and you know it's a fish because if you just set it, you'll pull it out of their mouth as we're doing and we're just learning here, guys, so I wanted to throw that in. Looking forward to more videos throwing a lot of these bigger baits. Um, sick packaging by uh, Working Class Zero, by the way. Like You can even have them rigged and back in the packaging so that one's got the beast hook. That way they just stay and keep their shape and their swim. Anyways, you guys, we had a ton of fun. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Till then, peace. Oh.